60 or 61 AD, the Ninth Legion, it has a run-in with the famous Iceni Queen Boudicca. Well, this is interesting because the context we're talking about here is the famous Ninth Legion, an elite legion, one of the four legions chosen by Claudius to invade amazing, fantastical far-off Britannia, the Game of Thrones, the Tolkien-esque sort of invasion of his day, Claudius. So this is an elite legion, but we know earlier it rebelled. We know later it's almost overrun. If we go to the Boudican Revolt, we know that the first responders to the Boudican Revolt, AD 6061, was the Ninth Legion, because the Ninth Legion was based in Lincoln and probably had vexillations probably further south. And vexillations of legionaries, probably with some supporting auxilia, try and intercept Boudicca. This is under the command of a legate in charge of the Ninth Legion at the time, who's Serialis, who's later a famous governor in Britain, in actual fact, supporter of Vespasian, the first Flavian emperor. And they arrive too late to stop the sack of Colchester. So they failed once. They then try and engage Boudicca and her troops, 100,000 maybe, as they travel southwest from Colchester to London, and they're hammered. They're defeated to the extent where Serialis actually flees the battlefield, leaving his legionaries to die where they stand, and then spends the rest of the Boudican revolt hiding with his cavalry in a local fort. So we have another ignominious failure here. So you put the dates together yourself very well. You go from the rebellion in Pannonia, you go from the Boudican failure, you go through to it being overrun almost in AD 82, as Tacitus tells us. So perhaps what we're seeing here is the Ninth Legion portrayed to us in the age in which we live today through popular fiction and maybe an antiquarian view of it as well as being an elite legion. I call it an elite legion, you've called it an elite legion. And yet we have three failures here. So maybe it wasn't as good as it's portrayed to be in the modern world.